In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the surface area of a triangular pyramid. So these images that you see here, those are all examples of triangular pyramids. Now pyramids are classified by the shape of the base. So in all of these, the base are all triangles and therefore that's why all of these three images are triangular pyramids. Now imagine that you wanted to cover every single side of these triangular pyramids with wrapping paper. Maybe it's a GIF that's in the shape of a triangular pyramid. So you want the wrapping paper to be covering everything. So the amount of wrapping paper that would be needed to cover up all the sides would be considered the surface area of a pyramid. So let's take a look at your formula. So capital SA stands for surface area. And that is equal to capital B plus P times L divided by 2. Capital B represents the area of the triangular base. So remember, your base is a triangle, so the area formula of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Lowercase b is the base of the triangle base, and h, lowercase h, is the height of the triangular base. So right here, this would be the base length of the triangular base. And this dotted line right here is the height of the triangular base. We have capital P, which is the perimeter of the triangular base. So let's recall that perimeter means to add up all three sides of a triangle. And L is slant height. So in this picture here, this dotted line right here represents your slant height. So let's take a look at a example. So we have the shape of a pyramid with a base. What kind of shape for the base? It's triangular. And let's recall what our formula is to find, <clears throat> excuse me, to find the surface area. So take a look at your diagram here. Can you identify the base and the height of the triangular base? Nine centimeter or so, nine millimeters right here, and the height would be seven point eight. So in triangles, the base and the height are always perpendicular. This is the indicator for a perpendicular ninety degree angle. Capital B represents the area of the triangle. Hopefully, you remember the formula is half times base times height, so you get thirty five point one. And the perimeter of our triangle is 9 plus 9 plus 9, which gets us 27. And our slant height is 7.8 right here. So now that we know those values, plug it into your formula and simplify. Finally, add, and don't forget to label, 140.4 millimeters squared. 